Are you excited to play the new Call of Duty? What's going on guys, Vader Shader here, and today we're going to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I'm as excited to play this game as I am to go shave after making this video. The game was released on November 10th, 2023, and people have had some time to play the game. So as usual, this morning, armed with my cup of coffee, I've decided to check out what people are saying about the game, starting with critics over at Metacritic. Let's take a look. Hopping on over to the old Metacritic, we see that the average right now uh, critic score is at a 50 out of 100, and then you have the user score at a 1.5 out of 10. Yikes. All right, well, I mean, to be fair, just to be fair, you guys, right now this is just the reviews for the PlayStation platform here. Uh, Xbox, PC, Xbox One, PS4 versions uh, have not been rated yet. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on that and see where that goes. But for now, this is the PS5 release. We all know PlayStation uh, spends a lot of money uh, advertising Call of Duty. And yeah, I mean, this is this is their baby. Checking in with the critics, we got the Daily Star here that says overall a poor Call of Duty, but there will still be enough in the multiplayer for fans to enjoy for months to come, which I agree, I guess. Uh, just ignore the campaign unless you have an afternoon to kill. Ignore the campaign unless you have an afternoon. I guess maybe they're saying that you can kill it in an afternoon. Uh, over here at Bozzy Center, like, again, I don't know any of these places, but, you know, we'll check them out. And they say trying to slide in uh, DLC as a full-fledged AAA title deals a massive blow to Modern Warfare 3 single and multiplayer experience, making it one to forget never even bother playing or never even bother playing. So... Yeah, I've, I've heard about this. I've heard that uh, they released a full-fledged game, 70, 80, 90 bucks, depending on the versions you buy, right? And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not even a full experience is what they're getting at, what they're getting at anyway. But uh, we'll see about that. Um, over here, they're highlighted users. Uh, well, this user right here says gave it a 10, said that they're having a great time in multiplayer, playing these maps again, working their way through the single player and again enjoyment is there to be had okay uh, well some user i mean it's probably not part of the 1.5s but at least these users are giving it a 10 i wonder why metacritic decided to highlight theirs maybe they're the most recent who knows um and this person here john b says that uh, the story took nine hours or so multiplayer is amazing bring back Bring back to Modern Warfare 2 maps was a win. Bring back, okay. Many hours ranking up weapons. Probably the best Call of Duty game since World at War. Okay, well, I don't know. Do you guys agree with John? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's basically where we're sitting at for uh, Metacritic. Um, again, PlayStation scores only. Uh, definitely could be, could change over time. I wanted to check out some things with their, I, I looked over at Twitter and I saw this user here, Xvault Gaming at Xvault 2, latest Call of Duty down to 51 at Meta. So this was, it's embarrassing. This was uh, posted on the 12th, uh, today is the 13th. So just letting you know. So it looks like the numbers went down for the critics. I guess they added one critic. It went up from 1.4 to 1.5 for the users out of 10. They're not very happy about Call of Duty. <laughs> Moving on. So reading the Metacritics, I saw some critics that I've, you know, really never heard of. So I decided, hey, let me see what the uh, some of the main ones that I like to check out um, are saying. So I went over and checked out IGN. And as you can see, IGN here uh, gave it a four. IGN gave it a four. Um, they said the game is bad underbaked, rehashed, and cobbled together from multiplayer parts. Modern Warfare 3 single-player campaign is everything a Call of Duty story mode shouldn't be. Now, that's tough. That's that's a, that's a tough score for, like, wow, from IGN. Interesting. If you head on over to Digital Trends, Digital Trends gives it a two and a half stars. The pros say that the gameplay, the gunplay is top-notch. Stellar visuals. Cutthroat is a highlight, okay? Checking out the cons, they say short, unrewarding campaign, terrible UI, inconsistent time to kill, and some audio woes. 
So I don't know if, if any of you guys are playing these games and uh, you're watching this video and you're experiencing any of these uh, cons or pros. If you like the game, not happy with it. I'd like to know in the comments. Let me know below. I checked that game spot and it uh, looks like they gave it a five, which is mediocre. They gave it a five. It's mediocre. The good is reintroducing uh, Makarov evokes nostalgia. It's good to see Warzone's uh, Verdansk again and punchy shooting, punchy shooting. That's good. Mm -hmm. The bad, <laughs> the bad pacing suffers from all of the open combat missions. Not a lot of payoff to the story and campaign doesn't do much worth seeing in its brief runtime. So I think uh, overall everything overall people are just saying that the game is the campaign is very short but i'm sure there are other reasons why uh these scores are not probably where not where the developers wanted it to be at this time but again it's early enough it could change we just have to wait and see probably by the end of the week and see what these numbers are after that but, uh, you know, again, are you excited to play this game? Are you playing this game? Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know in the comments below. That's uh, that's the brief story for today. Um, you know, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and go shave. I'll see you later.